In this video, we will see how to determine Zeeman pattern for any given transition. As we all know, Zeeman effect is nothing but splitting of spectral lines in the presence of applied magnetic field is called as Zeeman effect. So, first let us consider a transition 1F3 to 1D2. Here, 2S plus 1 value is 1, that is, it is a singlet. So, therefore, this is a singlet singlet transition and always singlet singlet transition leads to normal Zeeman effect so therefore this is going to be our normal Zeeman effect and in a normal Zeeman effect every spectral line splits into 2L plus 1 levels whatever is the value of L depending on that it will split into 2L plus 1 levels from plus ML to minus ML ok so let us see into how many lines this 1F3 and 1D2 will split and then what are the allowed transitions now for 1F3 we know that the L value is equal to 3 so therefore it will split into 2 into L plus 1 which is 7 levels ok and for 1D2 L value is equal to 2 so therefore it will split into 2 into 2 plus 1 which is equal to 5 levels or 5 Zeeman components and the ML values in this case will be from the plus 3 to minus 3 here it will be plus 2 to minus 2 ok so the splitting of the spectral lines will be let us write this is 1 F 3 ok this is without magnetic field in the presence of magnetic field it will split into seven levels so we have to show seven levels so these are four levels is 5, 6 and 7 where we will write our ml values what are will be our ml values from plus L to minus L that is from plus 3 to minus 3 so this is plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 0 minus 1 minus 2 and minus 3 similarly we will get for 1 D2 this is in the absence of magnetic field in the presence of magnetic field this single spectral line is going to split to 5 levels with ML values from plus 2 to minus 2 so therefore so we have 3 this is 4 and this is 5 these ML values are from plus 2 to minus 2 plus 1 plus 2 plus 1 0 minus 1 and minus 2 now the selection rule is delta ML is should be equal to that is change in ML should be either 0 or plus or minus 1 now let us first see how do we get the minus 1 first we will write the transitions for minus 1 if you observe this minus 3 now minus 3 minus minus 2 will become minus 1 similarly for the next transition minus 2 from minus 2 minus of minus 1 will become minus 1 so for ml is equal to minus 1 the transitions will be minus 3 to minus 2 then we have another transition from minus 2 to 
minus 1 then we can get a transition from minus 1 to minus 0 so minus 1 minus 0 will be minus 1 then we can have a transition from 0 to plus 1 so this is 0 to plus 1 then after that again we can have a transition from 1 to 2 so 1 minus 2 will give you minus 1 so for ml is equal to minus 1 we have 5 allowed transitions similarly we have to calculate how many transitions we will get for ml is equal to 0 and ml is equal to 1 for ml is equal to one, 0 we will get the transition from minus 2 to minus 2 we have minus 2 to minus 2 then we get a transition from minus 1 to minus 1 because minus 1 minus of minus 1 will become 0 then again 0 minus 0 will be 0 then 1 minus 1 will also be 0 then 2 minus 2 will also be 0 so here also we will get 5 transitions the next for delta ml is equal to plus 1 we will get the transitions from minus 1 to minus 2 so that is minus 1 minus of minus 2 will give you plus 1 so therefore we will get a transition from minus 1 to minus 2 then we can have a transition from 0 to minus 1 then again we can have 1 minus 0 which is equal to plus 1 then 2 minus 1 which is equal to plus 1 then 3 minus 2 which is equal to plus 1 so therefore these are called as pi components these both are sigma terms so total how many transitions are there these are 5 so total there are 15 allowed transitions in this case so like this you can calculate the allowed number of allowed transitions okay this should be till here only this is 1 minus 1 yes okay. in this way we can calculate the <coughs> number of allowed transitions between any two levels next we consider other transition 2d 3b 3 by 2 to 2p 1 by 2 this is a doublet doublet transition why do we call this as a doublet doublet transition because 2s plus 1 value is 2 so therefore this doublet doublet transition will give us anomalous Zeeman effect or anomalous Zeeman pattern okay in this anomalous Zeeman pattern the single spectral line will split into 2j plus 1 levels okay so for the spectral line 2d 3 by 2 j value is 3 by 2 so therefore 2j plus 1 values will be levels will be 2 into 3 by 2 plus 1 which is equal to 4 levels so 2d 3 by 2 will split into 4 levels with mj values equal to plus j to minus j similarly 2p 1 by 2 will split into 2j plus 1 values that is 2 into 1 by 2 plus 1 which is equal to 2 levels with mj values from plus j to minus j okay 
so let us see the splitting of the spectral lines so this is 2d 3 by 2 under the effect of the external field it will split into four levels corresponding mj values will be plus 3 by 2 to minus 3 by 2 so therefore you will get 3 by 2 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 and minus 3 by 2 then this 2p 1 by 2 will split into two levels from plus 1 by 2 to minus 1 by 2 these are your mj values now the selection rule here is delta mj should be equal to 0 or plus or minus 1 let us first see the transitions for which mj is equal to minus 1 so there can be a transition from minus 3 by 2 to minus 1 by 2 which that is minus 3 by 2 minus of minus 1 by 2 will be equal to minus 3 by 2 plus 1 by 2 will, which will get minus 1 so like this we can calculate so minus 3 we have a transition from from minus 3 by 2 to minus 1 by 2 then from minus 1 by 2 to plus 1 by 2 so these two are the allowed transitions for delta mj is equal to minus 1 then for mj is delta mj is equal to 0 we can have a transition from minus 1 by 2 to minus 1 by 2 then we can have a transition from plus 1 by 2 to plus 1 by 2 then for delta mj is equal to plus 1 we can have a transition from 1 by 2 to minus 1 by 2 and 3 by 2 to plus 1 by 2 so this is pi component these two are sigma components this delta mj is equal to this is minus 1 this is 0 this is for plus 1 so to total there are 6 allowed transitions so depending upon the 2s plus 1 value that is simple multiplicity value we have to decide whether it is a doublet doublet transition or a singlet singlet depending on that the resulting pattern will be either anomalous Zeeman pattern or a normal Zeeman pattern depending upon which we have to calculate the number of allowed transitions.